it's beginning to smell a lot like Christmas, <laughs> and you brought plants too. Yeah, yeah. You know, I wanted to bring some people some uh, different options to bring living things into the home during Christmas. And of course, we all know about the poinsettia or poinsettia. Uh, beautiful decor at this time of the year, as many different colors can match your interior decor. So you have the traditional reds, the whites, the pinks, uh, and even this one here that you're seeing right now, which is kind of the uh, marbled eyes one, which is a little bit multicolored. But you know, if you I I don't have these. a lot of space, yeah, this is a Norfolk Island pine. So let's say that you have an apartment or you want maybe a little Christmas tree for your child. This is a great thing. It's a Norfolk Island pine. They come in many different sizes. They're pre-decorated. I found these guys at Walmart really inexpensive, but you can find them anywhere. They're air purification plants. They are a tropical plant, so they can stay inside all year long. You Come just, on! Yep, you just water them. The only thing about decorating them is you want to make sure that the ornaments that you're putting on them are light. are light because they really don't have that strong of branches, but this is a living Christmas tree that can stay in all season long and one that will last, so it's a great option for you. How often are we watering these bad boys? About once a week. They really don't need that much water during the winter months. Uh, they're gonna need humidity though, so adding a humidifier is a really good idea. Okay. We talked about ornaments too. I love this. And I love this too. This is a great little gift that you can give someone, or if you wanna create a living Christmas tree and you can hang these off, that right there in the center is just an air plant. So this is really a terrarium. And it's a hanging terrarium, but it also makes a great gift that you could give to uh, people. So instead of giving something that's not expensive, at all, it's under ten dollars. That also I found at Walmart Do as well. Do those this sounds silly need watering? No, well, because they are work? an air plant. So these guys here being an air plant yeah. really just take the moisture that is in the air itself. It'll benefit from a little misting, uh, but really these guys here, you can hot glue them. The air plants themselves, this one here, I can take it out and we can hot glue it to anything. But what happens for next year then? You just remove that plant and put it in a what new What I would do year? for next year is I would remove the red that's there and I could just pop that right on my desk and just leave it as a terrarium itself. The red that you're seeing in there makes it more seasonal, more Christmas, but take off the little raft that's on there put it on your desk and it's just a nice terrarium. That's cool. Yeah so then we have this is cypress. I found this at my local garden center and you can find those at many. This is another nice little tree. It's a cypress that's an indoor cypress and then for those that really want a little bit of a culinary flair to a tree this is a rosemary tree. Ah uh, yeah I've been seeing those too. Now yeah. can you actually use that in your cooking? 100%. So you could use this as a table centerpiece on your Christmas setting and people could pick fresh rosemary right off it and put it right on their meal. And by the end really of the good. meal it looks like a Charlie Brown Christmas. It will look like One that. One sprig of rosemary. However, with rosemary, they're a little hard to overwinter. Okay. So this tree here is one that's going to be decorative, maybe last year a couple months, but it may be really difficult for you to make it last over and over. So but I want it's to 20 bucks though, so it'll last, you know, throughout the season, which and is And it's a really it's really inexpensive when you think yeah. about it. There are different junipers that you can get, but I also like the idea too of the cypress that I have behind here. Uh, what we did with this guy here is we just kind of tied it up, put some decorations on it, a little bit of Christmas greens around the bottom, and this is a fun gift for a child. What does that remind you of? Um, doctor, um, the Dr. Grinch. Dr. Seuss. Yes. Dr. Seuss. Yes, ding, 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 ding. It. It's so cute. You got it. That's I Because you know I have a child's mind. You do. Exactly. <laughs> I knew exactly Dina you got will it. Dina I made it for my boys. <laughs> yeah. So Dr. Seuss, main thing yeah. is with any living plant inside your home at this time of the year, keep it away from any heating vents, any heating sources. Keep it away from being on top of the television set. Are these all safe for pets? All safe for pets. The poinsettia though in itself is not going to kill your pet, but if a pet does consume, it will get it's sick. Mm. Main thing is if you do have pets that like to eat things, I say avoid all plants or make sure you put them in locations away because you never know which plants will have some toxicity. I love so. these alternatives. Thanks so much, Frankie.